Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show and welcome to the Block Heldon Gym and Jakob Schubert. Jakob, how are you doing, man? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm enjoying this huge gym. It's insane, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy how big it is. Yeah, it, there's so much stuff and there's loads of videos to come. But we are in the La Sportiva shop because La Sportiva have set up, I think it's the biggest one in Europe here. We've got loads of shoes, so we're obviously going to chat about La Sportiva shoes. But I wanted to make it more interesting than a straight gear chat. So, can you tell me a story that's to do with a shoe? So, for example, we've got three models here. The Futura. What's the story behind you and that shoe? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I have a few stories about the Futura, but I don't think we want uh, me to talk way too long. But um, actually, I think it was my second 9B that I've climbed in my life, uh, called Planta de Shiva mm -hmm. in Andalusia. I mean, obviously, you are a La Sportiva athlete, so we're going to talk yeah, about yeah. La Sportiva shoes. But I always yes. find it interesting to find out why you pick certain ones. So, like, the, the no-edge thing with the Futuras, what mm. actual difference does that make when you're climbing? I mean, yeah, second thing I really like using the Futura for is um, uh, volume slaps, okay. where you just have to stand on, like, really, or smear on volumes because um, it's like a really soft shoe in terms of like the solution that I usually use a lot. And uh, what I really like about the Norwich system sometimes is first of all, yeah, on slabs you have like, yeah, you have a lot of rubber that hits the volume. Yeah. And if you go like around the corner, it's really nice to go like sideways, yeah. easier than if you have like an edge. There are many things why a no edge can be good on some things. I still prefer the edge on most of the things, but in certain cases, Futura is my go-to. So that was your, your 9B story, and of course you've climbed many 9Bs since then. You're also one of the best comp climbers in the world, and the solution that we've got next to us, that was your Olympic shoe, really. But you had yeah. some other options in your bag as well, didn't you? Yeah, um, I mean the solution was, is not just uh, my Olympic shoe, but it, it's my go-to shoe right now, and for like many years uh, I've Done, in, done well, not just at the Olympics, but at many competitions. I've climbed most of the outdoor, outside routes um, over the last years in the shoe. I just really love this shoe, mostly because it's so uh, well-rounded. Mm. Like, I feel like uh, that's the most important thing in competition climbing, right? You want a shoe where you feel safe or good on any type of climbing, because you never know what the route setters prepare for you. <laughs> and obviously at the Olympics, you want such, such a shoe, like no matter if there is a toe hook, a heel hook, a slab, uh, a steep overhang or whatever um, foot you're going to use, you want to feel comfortable and that's what I do with the solution. When you went to Japan, was that in your hand luggage or in the, in the main luggage? I think this is, was maybe the, the only comp where I actually put my shoes in hand luggage. Usually I'm always going risky and just okay. like, uh, I'll be fine and so far I've always been fine, so yeah. Okay, but, the, but yeah, this, this came in with you? This, this time, time it came with me, yeah. And like you said, I had like a few other pairs for, for um, the Olympics. I used a Cobra for speed, because mm. obviously for speed you want a way softer shoe. You're not going to use your heel, so the Cobra was really good. And uh, I'm always bringing a Futura to comps as well, because on some slabs I just feel like the Futura is better than the solution. And finally, we've got a python. Yeah. What's the story behind that one? So yeah, that's kind of a special story because right now I'm not using the python anymore and um, I've never worn this new model. I've worn like a way older model of the this one. The orange one. one is the, the orange one, one yeah. and even like, um, yeah, a bit older version of this because when I climbed with the python was in 2011 which is, uh, yeah, already 11 years ago. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but yeah, yeah I was already um, climbing comps back then quite a lot. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was actually uh, like my most successful season ever. This is where I won seven League World Cups in a row and did like the world record and won consequently, obviously also the lead overall. And that was in the Python, so yeah. Awesome, well, Jakob, it's been always a pleasure to watch you, both on the competition circuit and on Real Rock. Thank you for sharing you. those shoe stories with us. If you guys want to check out these last Sportiva models we've been chatting about, uh, you can find them links down below. Best of luck with this season. See you soon. Thank you. Thanks See you soon. soon.